All right, hey, what's up, everybody? It's 99. Um, it's been a few years. Uh... Nick, run 99. All right, hey, what's up, everybody? It's 99. Um, it's been a long time since I've made a video. I figured I would dip my toe back in with something pretty simple maybe not so simple we'll find out so what I have here is the Gripcon for uh, the Nintendo Switch by Nexigo this is the the Hall Effect joystick version joystick version that has the built-in hub and uh, let's see it's got HDMI USB-C it's got two slots to hold your your game cartridges it's got a kickstand now I'm not here to do a review. What I'm here to do is disassemble it because when I got mine, I don't know if you can see that very well. I'll get a close up a little later. It is crooked. The USB slot is crooked. So I want to tear this apart and see if I can realign it. And um, I don't know. We'll also get to see what it looks like on the inside because I've never seen a video of anybody tearing this apart. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, Get our trusty little tools out. Let's see what we got. If you can see, that's where it's crooked. try and show this right side up so this is connected by two ribbon cables and that's the uh, back paddle button right there you can see that I have to open these two ribbon cables I usually just pry those up with my nail not a huge deal um, let's see this one looks a little weird Yep. Okay. Not sure why, but it's spring loaded. Oh well. Okay, so that's that one. Only one ribbon cable on this side. This slides out and actually I'm definitely not going to be able to put this back together correctly. All right. So how can I get under this? I think I am going to have to unscrew this for sure. This is my first time doing anything like this, so I realize this is going to be a very rough video. I apologize. Hopefully, hopefully it's clear enough for you to see what I'm doing. All right, let's see if we can pry this apart. Oh, easy. And there is one fancy little ribbon cable. Right there. All right, so this is the inside of the Nexigo uh, Gripcon. On this side is one PCB. I'm not gonna go any further. I don't wanna get too far into the weeds with this thing. I could take it apart, I'm sure, and get underneath here. Looks like there's one, two screws, and I could get behind that. And on this one, same thing, one, two screws. I could probably get behind that. But I don't think I want to do that today. All I'm concerned with is this part. Now, 
you can see here it is crooked it looks like there's some pressure being put on the PCB here to make it angle out that way but I don't really see anything underneath that's pushing up unless it's that oh I think a piece of plastic might be pushing up on it all right let's go further That's it. The PCB seam is warped to begin with. Uh, I don't think there's anything I can do that that's just going to mess with my OCD, and that's fine. But at least we know what it looks like inside here now. It's nothing really too crazy. Taking apart the Xbox controller was a much more daunting task. I think that nub could be shaved down a little bit. Yeah, that's a little raw. There we go. It's in there now. Hell yeah. All right. Happy about that. All right, let's put this bitch back together. <laughs> Try to remember what order to do this in. Nice. Nice and clicky. And look at that. Nice and even. That's what I like to see. Okay. So when you put this back down, you have to move the trigger fully back into its original position. Otherwise, it blocks the, uh, the screw hole nub. Nub protrusion, whatever you want to call it. All right, let's get this tiny screwdriver back. I already fucked up a couple times. So what I've discovered, orient it, right? Get it ready. And let's go ahead and put this button in here. Get it ready like it's going to go in. Flip it over. Actually, flip it over this way onto the center of the unit. Be careful with the ribbon cable. You don't want to fuck it up. Slide it in that slot nice and easy. Ooh, nice and not so easy. Where the fuck? I can't see. I need light. And that one's secure. I fucking hope. And then make sure it folds naturally S lift this up a little bit slide this that little flap underneath right. ah, son of a bitch there we go it's fucking retention clips why they made it two parts like that I don't know some bozos like me couldn't take it apart huh Cool, that one is in. All right, so this one is in. We're gonna do the same thing here. Flip it over on its side. Place this button back in. All right, here we go. This is gonna be a motherfucker in there. All right, it's kind of easiest to angle it up. Had it, had it, had it, had it. And you can feel it go in. And you feel it snap it down. All right, this one's gonna be a bit. I do have tweezers and I'm not using them. 
for an unknown reason. I don't know. Believe, believe I got it. We shall fucking see, huh? We shall fucking see. All right, everything appears to be back in. I'm not all the way. All right, let's screw it all back together before it falls apart on me. So pretty. seems to be working all right well that was a success I successfully disassembled and reassembled my Nexigo Gripcon I fixed the misaligned um, USB port turns out the PCB so there was a little plastic nub that goes into a hole in the PCB and the nub wasn't um, uh, it looks like the mold had left a little ridge so I just filed down that ridge with my nail it wasn't even that hard it was just very small took it off and it slid right inside that hole which allowed the PCB to clamp down uh, properly and now my USB port is no longer misaligned my OCD is happy um, so real quick a little bit about this switch I bought this switch off of OfferUp for 20 bucks it was just the panel it was super scratched um, it had no charger, no uh, Joy-Cons, no kickstand. It still doesn't have a kickstand because I wasn't able to transfer it over. I got to try and find a replacement for that. So what I did was I purchased a replacement digitizer, which is just the top glass. So now I have brand new glass. I uh, did a case swap. I have the translucent red on here. And since I didn't have the dock or the charging cable i found a five dollar charging cable from this very nice very nice lady on offer up um bought this nexigo that is basically a dock you know the charging cable goes right in here into the USB C. i've got hdmi out uh, i got the USB C, and it's my my joy cons which i was never really able to play with the joy cons anyways because it cramps my hand this thing's great Absolutely love this thing. Uh, whether or not it's going to affect or it's going to be a bad charger for the switch, I don't know. But it was a $20 switch, so whatever. Um, anyways, that was my first video back after many, many years. And if you're here, thanks for watching. Peace. All right, got it secured. And I did it fucking backwards, right? Ha, ha, ha.